My name is Skip. I'm here for two reasons. Number one, I want to help you become a better leader. And number two, I want to help you help others. So I have this idea, this concept uh, that's been brewing through debates I've had with some various friends of mine, that there's no such thing as an original idea. And that every idea that you ever have, or ever will have, someone else is either thinking of it or has thought of it. The reason I say this is because there's billions of people on the planet right now. And if you look through all the existence of mankind, there's been billions and billions of people. And the chances are that someone has had probably not the exact same, but very similar, very close ideas you. It's just it's just a reality. And I think that it's something that that happens all the time, is that these shock these uh, thoughts being similar and shared between different people who've never met or maybe not even been alive at the same time. So what's the point of that? Well, my point is that if you have a good idea, if you have an idea that you think is original, if you have a way of doing things that's new and untested, you got to go do it. you got to just take it and, and run with it. Because chances are someone else is thinking of it right now. And they might act on it. And they might be able to cash in on that idea, or that theory, or that process, invention, whatever. Now, <laughs> when I have this debate with my friends, they always bring up the technology piece. And the fact that technology is so different that cavemen never would have been able to consider the technology that we have today. They never would have been able to think of all the things. And what we can think of now and grasp now is nothing like what we're going to have in the future. Our parents never envisioned cell phones, for example. Well, okay, there is some merit to that. And um, I can quickly also discredit it because of two people, Leonardo da Vinci and Jules Verne. Those guys were talking about inventions and machines that were not anyone was anywhere near ready to create or think about. Leonardo da Vinci talked about flying helicopters, submarines. Jules Verne talked about submarines. These are inventions and things people um, just weren't technologically able to create, but they were able to think about it. Now, I guess the way they acted on it was they wrote stories about it through pictures and whatnot. Um, Leonardo da Vinci's notebooks, for example. But it's totally possible for whatever it is you're thinking to make it happen today, given our technology and our sophistication. So what I want to leave you with is whatever idea you have, whatever it is, you have to act on it. And if you wait, someone else is going to, and you'll suffer from it. And you'll regret not acting on it. So that's what I want to leave you with. No idea is original. It just matters whether or not you're going to act on it. My name is Skip. Thank you for watching. Go have a great day. Go live the wheel.